it's not so much about the products as it is about the effect. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different from my normal tutorials. I was thinking about doing an easy everyday winter tutorial, which is what this is, but instead of doing specific products in this video, I want it to be more about just like the style and just the ideas in general. So I have several recommendations per category that I'm gonna be sharing with you, and all of it will be linked down below because I am gonna be talking about quite a few products today, but I really just wanted to inspire you guys to use what you've got and just kind of find products that work in a similar way versus like specific products. Does that make sense? As we go through, you'll understand it a little more, but that's why I'm coming to you blank face, no brows, got a little scarf, you know. We're looking like winter time, and to be honest, I'm already kind of getting hot under these lights with this scarf on, but you know what? I'm doing this for you guys. We gotta have the whole vibe, okay? So here is the before and after so you guys can see the exact look that I'm gonna be creating today. Day. It's just gonna be something super simple that you guys can definitely do at home I want to keep it really really easy because in the winter time I feel like it's cold outside and I don't want to put like too much effort into too many steps in my makeup But it's definitely a time of year where I use specific products because my skin gets extremely dry in winter So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off by prepping the lips actually just use your favorite lip balm Some of my favorites are the Laneige lip sleeping mask the Laura Mercier flawless skin lip balm and also the Neutrogena Hydro Boost anything that's gonna really really plump up your lips and make them super hydrated. I don't know about you guys but my lips get extremely extremely dry in winter. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Laneige one because that's the one that I use at night and I feel like I'm gonna have to switch back over to using my Bite Beauty one a little more right now because even though this is super hydrating it's not hydrating enough for me. So moving on to skin. In the winter time for me hydration again is very very key. I feel like when you step outside like I want my face to be protected from the very very cold air. You guys it got down to six degrees last night here so it's extremely cold where I live but no matter where you live I feel like the weather always gets a little bit cooler so it's good to add a little more hydration into your everyday makeup routine I love to add hydration but I don't always want it to weigh down my skin so I have a few primers that I really enjoy for that in particular the Too Faced hangover primer is really lightweight but really hydrating as well as the hello fab coconut skin smoothing primer and the smashbox photo finish primerizer these are all very great lightweight moisturizers that work well underneath makeup up and they're not going to weigh your skin down, but they're also going to bring a lot of hydration. If you need something that will help with texture, the Maybelline Master Prime is one of my favorites. If your skin is super, super dry and really suffering from winter time, the Embryolisse Late Cream Concentrate is really good, and also the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty is a staple in my skincare routine this time of year. I put it on my elbows, my knees, my feet, my hands. I put it around my nose because my nose tends to run when I'm cold, like most of us probably, and I do tend to get dry around my nose, so this is essential for me. I think today I'm going to use the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I'm going to take a good amount of it and I'm going to apply this all over the skin to prep it for makeup. And I didn't do my brows before because I knew I was going to use something super hydrating. My eyebrows tend to get a little dry, so I like to put my moisturizer through the brows. If you want even more glow, you could definitely use a face oil. The face oil that I love to use for skincare is the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. I have it in my bathroom, I forgot to grab it, but I will link it down below. If you want something that's gonna give you a glow underneath your makeup, the Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir is a good one, or the Becca Glow Elixir is also a similar kind of idea. These are made to go under makeup, but since they're both oil-based, they're gonna be really great for hydrating the skin. I think I'm gonna go with the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir today because I haven't used this on my channel yet, so I'm gonna apply just a little bit of that all over the skin. This step is optional. It just depends on how much hydration you need. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my fingers as well. So for foundation or for a base product, I love to use things that are really hydrating as well. It honestly just depends on how I'm feeling that day and how much coverage I need. That really determines what I reach for. So I have a couple tinted moisturizers I wanna show you. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue is amazing for hydration. It doesn't give that much coverage, but if you're someone who just wants a little bit of a tint and you also want a lot of hydration, this is a great one to go to. I've also recently been using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This gives a little more coverage than the Complexion Rescue, but it's still in the light coverage range in my opinion. For a little more coverage, I like the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream. That's a great one. For things that have a little bit more coverage but also add hydration, I love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Foundation, as well as the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. This is amazing. And last but not least, I also really, really love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. This is a very hydrating yet long-wearing foundation, so if you have long days ahead of you, I would definitely recommend trying this one out if you have dry skin and if you need something that's a little bit more hydrating. So I feel like I'm having a pretty good 
good skin day today. Obviously, I still have some scarring going on in my cheeks, so I think I'm gonna choose the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation, and I'm just gonna apply this all over the face, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with a brush. This is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And for me in the winter time, less is more, because again, I'm more concerned about the skin being hydrated versus having a super full coverage glam. At least on a day-to-day -day basis, that's how I feel. You know what, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, just for a little bit of added hydration to the cheeks. I tend to get really dry in like the cheek area. And I'm actually gonna blend that out with a sponge. Already I feel like my skin is looking super, super glowy and hydrated, but it still feels really lightweight and fresh, which is definitely what I look for. So for some reason in the winter time, I'm not sure if it's because my skin tone gets even lighter than it normally is, or if I lose sleep or what, but I've been recently kind of struggling with dark circles. I feel like today it actually looks better than it has over the past few days. So if you want to, you can add a little bit of a peach corrector. This is something that will add a step to your routine, obviously. It's optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and use one today. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit and put it in this inner corner here just to kind of lighten that up a little bit. And this goes on before your concealer. I just really want the end result of this look to be super hydrated, glowy, fresh, and healthy because the weather is already drab, my friends. We don't need our makeup to look drab as well, okay? That alone really brightened up my under eye area. I love how that looks. So during the winter time, it's not just like my cheeks that get dry. On my skin, it's also the under eye area, and I feel like that's the case for a lot of people. So it's important for me to use something that's also hydrating underneath the eyes, but I need something that's going to last really well and look really nice. So I have a few options here. If you want something that's really, really glossy and almost shiny, the Glossier Stretch Concealer is a good option. Something that's really foolproof for me is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer. Very lightweight, very hydrating, but also offers a lot of coverage. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealers is a good drugstore option in my opinion. It has kind of more of a watery consistency. It's not going to weigh down the under eyes, but it also gives a lot of coverage. The Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer, the name of it is really perfect for this actually because it's very watery and luminous. And then I also love the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. This is so hydrating. It doesn't kick up the under eye area, but it looks really, really full coverage. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with this one. And I think I am going to use the Hello Fab Concealer today. It's been a while since I've used this and I miss it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit to the under eye area. This is a very light shade. I might have grabbed the wrong shade. I don't remember which one looks best on me. Let's blend it out and we'll see what we're working with here. I definitely feel like once it blended out, it just kind of left my under eye area looking bright. It wasn't too light in my opinion. I feel like it's a good color for me. And I normally use a concealer over any area that I want more coverage. So I feel like my cheek area needs a little more help. I'm gonna take the Bare Mineral Serum Concealer for this. I'm just gonna dot that over the areas that I want a little more coverage. And then I'm just blending it out with the exact same sponge that I've been using. I just added a little more of the avocado concealer underneath the eyes because I have a scar right here that it does not want to cover up, so I needed to match it on the other eye. Uh, it's still showing. Oh well. <laughs> okay, you guys. Ugh. The scarf is so fluffy and it looks nice, but gosh, I'm getting fluffs in my mouth. <laughs> so to set the under eye area and the center of the face, I'm going to be using the Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. I like this one in the winter because I do still like to set the under eye area, but this has a smoothing effect and it also contains hyaluronic acid. So it's not gonna dry out your under eye area at all. Like I love this because you get that nice blurred effect of a good setting powder, but you don't get the dry feeling that comes with a lot of powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this underneath the eye to set that concealer. And I'm also gonna put a little powder on the eyelid and a little bit through the brows. Since we did moisturize them, I'm just gonna set it a little bit so that the brow product sticks. I'm just gonna take a bigger brush with the same powder and just set the T-zone. I'm somebody who loves to just set my face. If you're somebody who likes to use cream products and you don't set the face, you can definitely skip this step. For me, I feel like it makes my makeup last way longer. That's why I like to layer up hydrating products and then I set it so it lasts all day. But you don't have to if you don't normally. This is just what I like to do personally. Let's get the brows on before it drives me too crazy. For brows, you can just use whatever you normally use. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade four. And I'm gonna quickly fill my brows and I will be right back. All right, so we've got brows on and I feel so much more like myself. 
So the next step is definitely optional, but I wanted to tell you about it because it's something that I personally feel like really makes a difference, especially during the winter time to give that glow back to your skin. So I'm talking about some finishing powders. There's setting powders and then there's finishing powders. So a translucent setting powder is going to lock down your makeup. A finishing powder goes over top of the translucent setting powder and just adds back a little bit of glow, but it's still a powder, so it glides on top really nicely. Some of my personal favorites are the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. This is in the shade one and to be honest when you first start to apply this on the skin It doesn't look like it's gonna do much once you start to really buff it though It adds just the perfect amount of candlelit glow of a candlelit glow Do you know what I'm trying to say? It just kind of adds that extra something back to the skin also the hourglass Ambient powders are really beautiful. This is a palette that I have I like to mix these two and put them all over the skin and then another option is the Laura Mercier translucent glow powder This is more of a setting powder and I only use this on the outer portion of the face, but it also brings that glow back to the skin while setting your makeup. So I think I'm going to use the Laura Mercier one because I don't think I've used this that many times on my channel. Maybe I have, I don't know. I'm going to use the exact same brush that I used for the translucent powder. I couldn't find in my collection like a drugstore version of something like this, so let me know in the comments if you know of a good finishing powder from the drugstore that you think I should try out because I love these kinds of products. I just personally haven't found one at the drugstore. And I'm putting this all over the skin. So like I said before, when I first tried this, I was frustrated. I was like, uh, is this doing anything to my skin? And when I turn my face, you can totally see how it is adding that glow back. It's just extremely natural, which I prefer. I think it's really beautiful. See, now we're glowy, but we're still powdery, but we're glowy. Moving into bronzer, I have several really nice luminous bronzers that I absolutely love. The one I've been reaching for a ton right now is the Becca Sunrise Waves bronzer. I mentioned this in my favorites video recently. It has two strips of highlighter on the end, so it really adds that oomph and that glow. A drugstore option that's really great is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It Bronzer as well as the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. These are both kind of a little bit more of a glowy formula and I love both of them. Some other examples are the Hourglass Ambient Nude Bronze Light Bronzer. It looks like this. This also adds a very nice glow to the skin and a similar one, but this is definitely more of a baked formula, is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer. So all of these do the same kind of effect. I just feel like finding something that has slightly more of a sheen really helps to add that health and that glow back to your skin in winter. So which one should I use? You know, I haven't used this one in a minute. I think I'm gonna use the CoverGirl one. Maybe I'll layer a couple, you just never know. So I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and dip it in here. And I'm gonna start to use this to warm up the cheeks. This has a tiny bit of like pink in it, rose gold, I guess, which I like. I feel like it adds a little bit more of a natural color and you can actually use it just on the cheeks like this. As you can see, it added that bronze, but it also added a little bit of color. So it's a good like one and done product in my opinion. You really can't go wrong with this. I love to go around the forehead and into the hairline especially. That just helps it look more natural. And I'm also taking it down the neck just so that everything matches. I'm gonna take some across the nose as well. And then I'm gonna take the brush that we were just using. I got fluffs all over my face doing that bronzer because I went down the neck and now it got caught on my scarf and there are fluffs all over my face. But I'm taking the translucent powder brush that we've been using and I'm just buffing that all over the bronzer to make it look more natural, to blend any harsh lines and to just buff it all together. I think that looks really nice. For these kinds of makeup looks, you guys know I love to just use bronzer on the eyes. That's just the most realistic for me. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add this into the crease a little bit to define it. And I personally love to add a little bit of shadow underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna do that with the same exact bronzer. Let's finish up the skin and then we will move on to the eyes. In the wintertime, I love a good pink luminous blush. I feel like it just adds life and health, again, back to the skin, going along with the theme. So some options that I personally would recommend is the Benefit Dandelion Blush. I love this, it's so good. The Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush is a good option if you don't want too much luminosity to the cheeks. This is a good matte option that adds a little bit of life back to the skin. The CoverGirl True Blend Blush is also a really nice pink blush that adds that luminosity to the skin. Milani Luminoso, of course, is the same kind of idea. And last but not least, the Thrive Cosmetics Rosy Blush is also a good multi-dimensional kind of blush that adds that glow to the cheeks. I'm gonna go with one that I haven't used in a minute. I'm gonna use the Benefit Dandelion Blush. This used to be like my go-to every day and it's just been sitting in my drawer for a while. Not because I don't like it, I just kind of, you know, have been using other things. So let's go ahead and dip into this and I'm gonna apply this to the apples of the cheeks, blending it backwards into the bronzer that we just applied. 
I love the smell of these blushes. Is anybody else? Don't you love the smell of the box blushes? They're just so good. Okay, I personally am a blush girl, so I go a little ham with my blushes. But again, I just think it adds that healthy glow to the skin and it's much needed for me in the winter time. I'm just adding some to the eyelid as well, just to kind of tie it all together. Cute. I love it. Maybe I'll layer up a little bit of Luminoso just so you can see what a more luminous option would look like on the cheeks. I'm just gonna pop this on the very front of the cheeks though. I'm just gonna buff over it a little bit with the translucent powder brush. There we go. We got that shine on the apples of the cheeks. I love it. Okay, what is next? Highlighter, okay. I have two options. Highlighter for me, I love highlighter, okay, but in the winter, especially on an everyday basis, I've been using a cream highlighter. And the one that I've been reaching for, again, I know I've talked about this several times on my channel, you guys, but I have fallen in love with it all over again this winter, the past couple weeks. It's the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna wear this today. Um, I'll show you my other recommendation, but I'm gonna show you how gorgeous this is. It just adds a glossy kind of look to the skin, but it has a powdery finish. It layers over top of powders beautifully. I'm just insanely obsessed all over again with this highlighter. A similar highlighter would be the Glossier Halo Scope Highlighter. This is also gonna give you that nice glossy kind of look, which I personally really gravitate to in the winter time. So let's use the Benefit What's Up Highlighter though. I just roll up the product a little bit and I take the other end of my sponge and I just go ahead and kind of load the product onto this end of the sponge. I like to put quite a bit on the sponge actually. Once I feel like there's quite a bit, I go ahead and start pressing this on the high points of the face. It does not pick up the existing products that's on there. It just adds the most beautiful kind of wet skin looking glow. It doesn't cling on to any dry patches. It honestly is divine. I love it. I'm obsessed and not to mention it's just the perfect champagne color. And I do feel like this highlighter is a shade that would be very versatile on so many skin tones. It blends into my skin tone pretty well because I am fair, but I do feel like even medium skin tones would really look beautiful in this highlighter. So I just kind of add it in a C shape around the brow and on the high points of the face. And I personally love to add a little bit to the apples of the cheeks just to add that glow and hydration back there. We'll do a little on the cupid's bow, down the center of the nose as well. And I like to get a little bit above the brows too. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but do you see how healthy and just glossy that makes the skin look? It's not a blinding highlight, but I love that. I love that it just looks like my skin is glowing from within. It's absolutely beautiful and it keeps my skin feeling really hydrated. So I knew I was gonna use this highlighter in this tutorial because I've genuinely been just like wearing the heck out of this. I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. So let's finish up the eyes. For me right now, I'm obsessed with glitter. It's an everyday thing thing for me and my favorite kind of glitter to wear on an everyday basis is just kind of like a pink frosty looking glitter. There's a couple that I'm going to show you. One of them that I love is the L'Oreal Paris Crushed Foil Metallic Eyeshadow. This is a pressed formula, really great for just like dipping your finger into it and pressing it on the lid. I also love the L'Oreal Havana Camila Cabello eyeshadow in the shade In Love. This has also been a really pretty pink shade. It's not gonna be as chunky of a glitter, but it definitely adds that frostiness to the lids. And you guys probably guessed it already. I'm obsessed with this and I've talked about it so many times. The Bodyography Glitter Pigment in the shade Sparkler. I love this. It's so, so beautiful. And I do reach for this one the most, I'll be honest. It's so beautiful. Um, but I'm thinking maybe today I should layer a couple or something. I, it's been a while since I've used the Havana one, so let me use this first. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my finger and just kind of tap it onto the eyelid. And as you can see, it's gonna add a little bit of that sheen, but this one isn't as glittery as my other ones. So I might layer up another one on top. So can you see that one? There's definitely glitter in it, but it's not like Kapow glitter. Oh, I forgot to mention this one. The Flower Beauty Warrior Glitter Shadow in the shade Blade also has a very similar effect. And I like to apply this to my hand first and take it off my hand and dab it on. That's just personally how I like to do it, but that's also a good option. I am gonna go into my Bodyography Glitter Pigment because this is totally what I've been wearing like for months and months and months now. I'm just gonna add this right on top. I love glitter on the eyes on an everyday basis. I don't even care. I could be going to brunch and you're gonna see me with a glittery eye. I feel like I never go to brunch, but just for an example, you know? Girl, if I go grocery shopping, I've got glitter on my eyes. That's just how I've been. I love it so much. This kind of look is just so effortless in my opinion. There's nothing really on the eyes except for bronzer. And that glitter just makes you look like you tried really hard and spent a lot of time on your makeup, but really you just like plopped on some glitter and you ran out the door. 
So that's one of my favorite steps as far as eye makeup goes. I absolutely love glitter. So let's put on some mascara. I don't have like several options for you, but I'm gonna use the one that I've been reaching for. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I've used this for years now, but I've recently like been really, really into it because I love bold lashes day and night, okay? That's just me personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two coats to the top and bottom lashes. All right, so mascara is on. I really feel like that just ties the whole look together. For lip products, you guys, I have several options, okay? Girl, I couldn't just recommend two lip colors to you. No, that would just not be my style. So for me with this look, I would either just do something really simple like a glossy lip balm. So I might just add more of the Laneige sleeping mask to my lips. Um, the Glossier lip gloss is amazing for a super, super glossy, like insanely glossy, but not sticky lip gloss. So if you're into that, I would definitely go with that. For something a little bit more colored, but you still get that hydrated glossy look. I love the Thrive Cosmetics Glossy Lip Hydrating Serum, I think they're called. I'm not sure the exact name. The two shades I get the most use out of are Ruth and Jean. Ruth is a really good, like, kind of neutral, everyday color, and Jean is just that baby pink that just actually makes your lips look slightly lighter, but it doesn't wash me out, and it just feels like a lip balm and looks really cute on the lips. So I like both those colors a lot. Obviously, my go-to... Glossy Fawn from L'Oreal. I love this. This is the Colory Shine Lipsticks. This is gorgeous. I love, love, love these. That's a little bit more of a nude color, but it's gonna add a little more shine. So all the lip products I'm telling you about right now, I feel like you would have to take with you. They're definitely the like reapplying kind of lip colors because I personally don't go with a liquid lipstick all the time, not for an everyday basis in the winter. I like to reapply my lip color in the winter time just because I feel like my lips are constantly dry, so I always need something hydrating them. Anyway, the Hydra Silk Ultimate Lip Butter in the shade Naked Petal from Flower Beauty. Oh my gosh, I love this one. The Burt's Bees Satin Lipstick in the shade Blush Basin. This is a really good one that's gonna add more color to the lips, but it's also very hydrating. And the Burt's Bees, what is this called? Liquid lipstick, but it's not a liquid lipstick. Like, it's not a matte liquid lipstick. It's more shiny, it's really hydrating, and it's something that kind of lasts a little longer on the lips. But again, I would definitely take it with you to reapply. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips first. I'm just trying one on to see how I feel about it. I'm still eating fluffs. I love that one, that's the Flower Beauty one. But I feel like I want a little more pink, so I think I'm gonna go into the Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Tidal Taupe. I might layer a couple just for fun today. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a really light layer of this. That way the finish isn't ultra glossy with that, but I wanna add the Glossier Lip Gloss on top. This is gonna give me so much shine. Yes, wow. And you don't have to layer this gloss over anything. It looks amazing over just bare lips. There we go. I love it. I'm going to add a little bit of an inner corner highlight by taking the What's Up highlighter and taking a smaller highlighting brush. I'm just going to go ahead and dip it right into the product and pop it in the inner corner. And I'm also going to take what's left and just pop it right underneath the brow just for some added glow. So now to set the makeup, I like to use something that's going to be a little more hydrating. I have several options. I love the Smashbox Primer Water. I feel like that's a really good smoothing spray. But if you want something that's just going to kind of refresh your makeup throughout the day and also set it a little bit, the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating setting spray is a good one and also I have the Mac fix plus I just have a little travel size I think I want to use fix plus today because I think I recently used the flower beauty one in a tutorial maybe not super recently but it's been a while since I've used fix plus so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the face with this got my handy fan and I'm just gonna lightly press the sponge on my skin you can totally just leave your face like that but I'm gonna add a little bit of a mattifying powder just to the areas that I really don't want shine throughout the day because this is definitely like something that would get more glowy throughout the day. So I personally just want to make sure that I don't have a greasy chin, that my smile lines are set. Oh, these fluffs are everywhere. I also like to set in between the brows right here, a little bit on the forehead, just in the center, and a little around the tip of the nose. And it wouldn't be an everyday look if I didn't set my brows. So I'm gonna do that with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Well, you guys, I think that's it. I'm beyond obsessed with how this look turned out. It's so glowy, it's so easy to achieve, and it's also very comfortable and lightweight on the skin. Perfect for every day during the winter time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I'm hoping to just inspire you with this video by giving you lots of different options. It's not so much about the products as it is about the effect and the vibe that I feel like is perfect for winter days. Comment down below letting me know what your winter makeup staples are. Is your routine similar to this? Is it different? Let me know in the comments down below. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions on products 
products and all that stuff. So please comment that down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love to have you join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, but you wanna be part of the notification squad, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays every single time I post. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay hydrated, stay warm this winter. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.